Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Evolve with Emily show. I'm your host, Emily Hayden, and you are listening to another Monday message. Every single Monday, I bring a message of the day to you guys. So here's today's message. Haters gonna hate. Let them. Everybody asks, how do you deal with criticism? How do you deal with haters? And my answer, I don't. I move forward and I keep living my life and I tune out all the hate, I tune out all the criticism and I don't give it one single ounce of my energy. Some of you are too curious. I always say stay curious and open about who you are and what you're meant for and your purpose. But some of you are too curious about what other people are saying about you. You don't need to go look. You don't need to read what they're writing. You don't need to hear what they're saying. At the end of your life, when you're on your deathbed, are you gonna be happy that you spent some of the precious energy and time that you had on this earth reading what someone else is saying about you? I guarantee you, you were not going to give two shits what somebody said or wrote online. So next time that you deal with criticism, next time that you deal with hate, ferociously protect your energy. Ferociously protect your energy. And do not allow one single negative thing or bad thing to play a part inside of your day. I recently had some people messaging me saying that there was just some horrible things being said online about me. And I now have almost a decade of experience with this. Guys, I've had haters for years. They love to hate me. (laughs) Shout out to you guys. Um, And my response to it, and one of the persons that was messaging me, they're really sweet. I understand it comes from a good place, but I'll say this again right here and now. Public service announcement. Don't ever message me letting me know that someone is saying something bad about me. Number one, I'm aware people hate on me all the time. I'm aware there are websites and channels and, you know, whole entire episodes and blogs and all this shit about how horrible of a human being I am and how I should die and all these things. I'm aware that that's out there. I don't need you to tell me. I don't need you to tell me about it. And I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to listen to it. And so I recently had all these people reaching out saying this was happening. And one of the girls was so sweet. She was like, I'm just so furious. And I go, dot, dot, dot. Then don't watch it. And she goes, oh, you're right. I was like, yeah, like I haven't listened to a single syllable and I'm literally having the best day. I just did a podcast. I have an interview later. I am going to see a friend tonight. I just had a great workout earlier. You know, like I was having the most amazing positive day and there's nothing wrong with my day. And yet this person is living in this energy of anger because of some horrible things that were said about me. And I had compassion. I was like, I understand you're angry, but like the solution here is to not listen to it. So if you guys wanna know how to deal with haters, don't. I don't know about you, but every single person in my life that I really hold deep value to what they say to me and who can really speak constructive criticism and respectful conversations into my life, every single one of those people has my personal phone number, which means that I'm not gonna have any of those conversations online with strangers in the DMs. Believe it or not, I don't live my life online and I don't think that you guys should either. It can be a part of your life. It can be an amazing tool to, you know, connect with others and spread positive messages and have, you know, open conversations if that's what you want to do. But for me in my life, I don't take constructive criticism from random strangers or people who I've never had a conversation with. That makes absolutely no sense. Whoever's going to have a real and constructive conversation with me has my number and we can either meet in person or we can FaceTime as personal and close friends who have hard conversations together. So anytime that you have haters or criticism or you're worried about speaking your beliefs or opinions online, understand that you being the most authentic version of you is going to draw in a lot of hate, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of people who do understand you and still hate you anyways. And hey, I respect that. I'm not for everybody. You're not for everybody. And the sooner that you come to terms with that and that you make peace with that, the more that you can live your life unaffected by what other people are doing and saying. I always think about what am I going to think about on my deathbed? Am I going to wish that I had gone and listened to some person complain on their Instagram stories about me? Am I going to wish that I had any idea what they said about me? No, I'm not. I'm going to smile knowing that instead I chose to have a great workout. Instead, I chose to create a new podcast to pour into other people's lives and to hopefully help them create a positive change in their lives. I'm going to be happy that I took a coaching call with a client and that I poured into them. So ask yourself, on my deathbed, which decision am I going to be proud of? Am I going to be proud that I just spent 20 minutes online reading some negative, hateful things about myself 
and then spent the rest of the day upset about it and then had to go to therapy about it. No, you're not going to be proud and happy of yourself for doing that. So stop doing that. Stop doing that. It's a form of self-sabotage. Guys, I have worked so fucking hard to get my life to where it is now that that's why I have such ferocious boundaries around my personal energy, around my personal time, around who and what I allow into my personal space because it's been a really hard time getting here. And that's why I'm protective over it because I've had to work my ass off day in and day out to create this bubble that I have, this happy, peaceful bubble that I have that's full of just, you know, uncomfortable conversations that are hard and that, you know, require growth and learning and discovering new opinions and, and understanding where people are coming from, right? I don't want you to paint this bubble where it's only happy and peaceful. I mean, that's that's what I work to cultivate, to create and to have. But in that is where I have those hard conversations and, you know, learning opportunities from people that don't think like I think and don't believe like I think. Those are some of my favorite conversations. Those are some of my most interesting conversations and they're ones I have all the time in person. Sometimes I might do it online with certain people. You guys are out there. Shout out. I love you guys. But most of the time, those are the conversations I'm having in person. Also know that whatever you think you know about someone online, it's not even the tip of the iceberg. You don't actually know somebody from online and you don't actually know somebody just from the content that they put out. Unless you have real experience with them, unless you have asked them questions for clarity, you don't actually know who they are. So understand full well that even when people hate on you, most of the time it might be because they don't actually know who you are. They have all these preconceived ideas about you that don't even match reality or truth, literally at all. Some people think they know what you believe about one topic just because you stand somewhere on another topic. And you're like, what? That doesn't even make sense. I actually believe completely different than what you're hating me for, but sayonara, motherfucker, like hate me anyways. You know what I mean? So protect your energy, ferociously protect your energy and work really hard to create and to cultivate a space that you love and that you will protect with everything inside of you, that you will create fierce boundaries around. So no, I don't want to hear what anyone is saying about me, what anyone is writing about me, what their you know preconceived ideas are about me or their assumptions are about me. I literally just don't care. <laughs> Because if I'm on my death, if I'm on my deathbed tomorrow, I guarantee you I'm not going to give two shits. So why would I choose to give two shits today? And why should you? You shouldn't. Create your happiness. Create the space that you love and protect it with everything that you have. Hate is gonna hate, so let them. If you enjoyed today's message, do me a favor and share it with a friend. Share it in your Instagram stories, tag, post, do all the things, rate and review the show. If you would, I'd really appreciate it. That's the way that the show grows. And let me know if you guys have any feedback or want to hear on something specific next time. I'm always open to your feedback and suggestions. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video.